Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on distance time graphs. So in this video we'll go over the key concepts and we'll show an example of how to interpret a distance time graph and then in the second video we'll cover some example questions. And so let's start off by looking at the key things that you need to remember. So the first thing is that the gradient of a distance time graph um, is the distance divided by time. Uh, so that's distance, that's time. Uh, so if you divide distance by time that gives you the speed. So the gradient of a distance time graph is speed. So following on from that first point then, the second point is that the steeper the gradient, the faster the speed. Uh, so here, and you can see this green section is a much steeper part of the graph than the red section. Uh, so steeper equals faster. And then moving on, uh, the third thing that you need to be aware of is that if the uh, line is flat, then the distance isn't changing. Um, so what that means is that you are not moving. So distance uh, is unchanged, so therefore you must be stopped. So a flat section means you are stopped. The final point then is that if you have a negative gradient, uh, then what that means, so in this example, uh, the last section here, we have a negative gradient, this bit in purple. What that means uh, is that you're returning to the start point. Uh, so it might look like the distance is decreasing, uh, but what that means is that the distance from the start point is decreasing. So in other words, you're returning to where you came from. Uh, so that's return to start. Uh, so those are all the four things that you need to be aware of in a distance time graph. So if we move on then, uh, we might sometimes be faced with a question where we have to interpret or break down a distance time graph. And to do that, what you have to do is divide the graph into sections and explain what goes on in each section. Uh, so here we've got an example and we've broken the graph down into four sections A, B, C and D. So we'll start off with section A. Uh, so in section A we've started at zero in distance travel days and we've gone to a distance of 30 kilometres by the end of the section. Uh, so uh, we can say we've travelled 30 kilometres uh, and we have to look at the time span now which is from 9am to 11am. Uh, so that's two hours. So in section A we've travelled 30 kilometres in two hours. Then if we move on to section B uh, we can see that the distance doesn't change at all uh, so that's this section here uh, so it's a flat section uh, and the time span is from 11 till 12 so that's two hours uh, so if it's flat it means we've not moved so zero kilometers traveled and in one hour since it's from 11 till uh, 12. so if we move on to section c now uh, in section c uh, we've gone from a distance of 30 kilometers to a distance of 60 kilometers so again We've travelled 30 kilometres in that section, uh, but this time the time span is much shorter. Here we're going across one big square, uh, and one big square represents half of an hour. Uh, so uh, we can say that in half an hour, or 0 0.5 hours, 30 minutes, however you want to describe it, uh, we've travelled 30 kilometres. And then finally, if we move on to section D. So in section D, uh, we're going back to the start point now, since it's a negative gradient. Uh, so we're going from a distance of 60 kilometers at the top to zero so that's 60 kilometers traveled and then the time span is three big squares so that's 1.5 hours or one hour 30 minutes uh, so that's every section of this distance time graph explained uh, so that would be all you needed to do if you got a question that said interpret this distance time graph if you want to test your strength on this topic then why not have a go at our online exam it's available through our revision platform and you find loads of different questions here, all of which you'll get instant feedback on so you can keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. Uh, if you're interested, then click the link below and it will take you straight there.